on this hog stripe BM900. It had an issue of it was wanting to go down by itself after just turning the joystick a little bit and it would start falling down by itself with a little bit of pressure. Uh, starting to go down. I'm pushing down with this hand and turning, just start starting to turn it, my joystick with this hand, and then see what happens. Not supposed to do that. I changed the main spring and re-greased it and it seemed to help it a lot but there were still it was still a little bit too easily going going down so I I took the spindle out and re-greased it and the way to take the spindle out first you've got to take your spring out by removing this screw and you can take your tower off, remove this, this snap ring, and you can pull the you can pull the bushing off and the microscope arm off, and then it leaves you with just the base. Take off these four screws right here to get the spindle assembly out. And um, you probably want to take the spring. You can take the spring out by after you've got this all released by removing this screw, putting your hand on here, and then lifting it up, and that will expose your spindle assembly all by itself. It's got. So it has three screws in here that you access through this little porthole. And there's three washers underneath those screws. Make sure you put those back in. Take all those out. And you also have a screw right in the right in the middle of the spindle that meet needs to come out so you can get the, the whole shaft out. Or if not, well then you can only get to so much of the spindle shaft. But I took the spindle shaft out, cleaned it, and then re-greased it. Hogstrite recommends number number eight. Number eight on the threads and then a number 10 on the shaft. So if you don't have those, you've got to use what you've got. If all you've got is seal glide, well, that's what you'll have to use. And re-grease everything, put it all back together, and that should solve your drifting by itself issue. A new spring, if that doesn't do it, then re-grease your spindle assembly. It could be that the grease has broken down and it doesn't have the same viscosity, doesn't have the same tension, so it's not putting it the correct amount of drag to keep it from moving too easily. That's my guess. But this one had the issue and with a new spring and re-greased spindle assembly it doesn't have that problem anymore. So I hope this helps out for you too.